With more than 310 miles of pipework, it's among the world's most expensive plumbing projects. But it isn't working. A group of the world's largest oil companies has spent about two decades and around $50 billion drilling thousands of feet below the Caspian Sea in remote western Kazakhstan on the Kashagan oil development. It began pumping oil last September, eight years behind schedule. But a gas pipeline quickly sprang a series of leaks and the entire operation had to be shut down. Kashigan began with great optimism. It was one of the biggest new oil field discoveries in four decades. That oil is under high pressure and mixed with deadly hydrogen sulfide gas. And in winter, it's covered by sea ice. The companies built concrete and rock drilling islands in the Caspian Sea. The operators, which include Italy's ENI, France's Total, UK-based Shell and the US's Exxon, as well as the Kazakh government, are trying to figure out how this giant project was undone by a relatively simple pipeline connecting the offshore fields to a processing facility onshore. But so far, the companies say they haven't determined the cause or come up with a plan to fix leaks. The companies say Kashigan has big engineering challenges. They've declined to comment in detail on the pipeline problems. And that means Kashigan's oil, once again, is delayed indefinitely.